I'm Dan Leitman. Uh, right now I live in Manhattan. Um, I was born in Einstein Hospital and I have had schizophrenia for about 11 years. Pretty much I kept it a secret for like a year until finally the symptoms got so bad that everybody started noticing. Basically I started hearing voices at summer camp. I have auditory hallucinations. That's my thing. One time at summer camp, the second year, when I was fully diagnosed, I stayed up the entire night. Um, the voices told me I couldn't um, touch my head to the pillow, so, uh, or, or else I would lose something like my soul or something like that. Because the voices are God when I look up, devil when I look down. Actually, that's one of the reasons I do stand-up comedy. Because when I do stand-up, uh, the voices stop. My goal when I was at camp, I know I'm mentioning camp a lot, but it was a big part of my life. Um, but when I was at camp, my goal was to get a Comedy Central special. And they laughed at me because I wasn't very good back then, I admit it. Like my mind, my jokes are very scattered. Like, I have jokes about schizophrenia. That's fun. Um, for schizophrenia, there are positive and negative symptoms. One um, adds something and one takes something away. Like, I showed no emotion and I was just totally out of it. And then my parents were like, something's wrong. And then we went to the psychiatrist and she diagnosed me. And finally, we found the right drug regimen for me. Uh, it's a mix of therapy and drugs and just family support. When I got diagnosed, my mom and dad were really, really committed to making a difference in the psychiatric community. Um, they started reading books about it like crazy, like Ellen Sachs, uh, The Center Cannot Hold, that's still one of their favorites. Um, I read a little bit of it, but once again, I still have a short attention span. When I tell people I have schizophrenia, they're like, oh, I didn't notice. Um, that that feels pretty good because a lot of the time people notice like quick. There's still a lot of work to be done, especially with stigma because I admit schizophrenia is a really scary disease, but people are starting to understand it a little bit better. I just hope to be a really good comic. Maybe start writing for The Tonight Show. That's what I'm working on right now. As much as I love being a comic, um, I, I love writing for comedy. And I've established among my group of friends that I'm a really good writer. I'm proud that I've gotten this far. Like I'm proud of my parents for putting in all this time. And it's nice to have a rock. And... Uh, that's what my parents and family are. They're blunt, um, but they tell me what I need to hear. And I'm proud of my friends, especially the schizophrenic friends, because I know what they're going through and they're handling it so well.